No position is permanent is a familiar saying, and yet it would seem that few have familiarized themselves with the wisdom in the message. So I'm here to declare a season of next level in governance. Let the real governors please stand up. We took it as a sign that the writing was on the wall for the Jonathan administration when we were beginning to see indices of impunity in the way his ministers were reported to be cutting away money and abusing process. I would take it that we are in that, at that point again because we see our governors using their power to get what they want at all costs. I cite Governor Dan Ganduje and his dethroning of Sanusi, former emir. Despite the fact that you could say he acted within his remit, reports suggest that the intention behind his actions are reflective of a vendetta mentality. Are we not in a bad place when the very person who is now pursuing the ex-emir for fraud was apparently caught on camera with his hand in the kitty and yet he got away with it. Then we have the case of Obaseki going after Oshumali and apparently doing all he could to deal with him, his very words. A lot of media headlines termed it a feud, which is becoming actually since our civil servants taking from Chuka's advocacy now behave like feudal masters. Now we have the case of Justice Akon Ikweme, I've been following that one. An apparent face-off with the governor of Cross River, though he, he may deny it, Ben Ayade, who appears to have used the House of Assembly as his lackeys in effectively denying Ikweme of what is, as far as I'm concerned, a constitutional entitlement. Are we seeing a pattern here? Some would even trace it back to the fact that we have a president that openly disobeyed court orders not once or twice. Dare I say the writing is on the wall again. There is such a thing as sacrificial, service-oriented governance in case we've lost sight of this in the midst of the poor examples we're surrounded with. I call out Nelson Mandela and Lee Kuan Yew, who have played a pivotal role to pull their countries out of a desperate situation through sacrificial leadership. So, please, please, my people, I make a direct appeal. I, we really need to strategize towards ensuring that the people who govern us are themselves first self-governed. Looking towards 2023, may seem a long way off, but it's round the corner, we must stand for what is right, put ourselves forward as candidates for good governance and support the right caliber of people to lead us. I say from today, let the real governors please stand up and be counted. Rather, let the, let the real elected, let the real public servants stand up and be counted. Well, really. they don't even know if they were elected or not because there's been so well, much really I mean, they're, going they're, on they're, there. they're there now. Um, mm. It doesn't really matter. Oh, well, it matters. I'm even talking about the future it ones. It matters that they're there yeah. now, really, and therefore, now that they are in that, in that position of power um, and that they should use that, they should see that the interest of the public. Actually, it's, it's you know, the, the late Amaki we used to say to me when we had a discussion about Nolly, which she says, Amaki, there's something called enlightened self-interest. Mm. And she took that principle and broke it down for me in a way that this was many years ago that I understood it, that sometimes the thing, that your self-interest let it align with the public interest. So and everybody that it will be satisfied. So it, it benefits the public, mm. and then it also benefits you. Mm. And, and I think what, 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 is, what we're seeing now is more of personal interest first and foremost, mm -hmm. and public interest yeah. no, not, not uh, at uh, all. That, that's that's very short-sighted. I, mean, I, I, I really expect, I mean, I can see that because it's about just grabbing yeah. the national key. You can't be, if you're in their position, and not that I'm saying that I would do what they're doing, but I can see why they're doing it because it's really a matter of, let me just grab what I can. To be thinking about the public, look at the millions and millions of Nigerians. But, but, but he said that's that why, it's possible to get both. Ekene, Sorry. Yes. And that's why, even the examples you cited, the question would be, even those examples, how did they get to where they are? It okay. is through the same self-serving interest. Okay. If we're talking about um, the collective good and interest, some of these people we are calling governors today will not even be councillors. Mm. Some of the people will say, oh, EMEA will not be EMEAs, you know? But they get, they use the same self-serving, you know, to opportunities get to get there. Yeah. And so the next person will use self-service opportunity to pull them out. So for how long, like that's where I, I align with mm -hmm. your, um, let me use a biogos language, I mean perfect stimulacrum <laughs> with your advocacy, that for how long shall we continue like this? recycling like this? this thing? And, and so let's look at our election and electoral processes and say, irrespective of what happens, we will stand up for the right persons and then let the right persons also put themselves forward, put themselves forward on time, not wait two months. Because as we speak now, the crisis in APC is because of 2023. Yes. Mm -hmm. They have not even shown us the change they promised. Mm -hmm. Not to talk of next, next level. level. We're already talking of 2023. <laughs> and so 
those of us who are going to vote, we are seated, we are watching. Mm. And then, before you know it, they push two, you know, candidates that are incompetent to us, and we'll now begin to debate. Mm. And then, the alternative will not have the time to crisscross the length and breadth right. of the country. So, this is, so the this is the time. The end of one election cycle begins yeah. another yeah. one. And, and so, let those alternative also begin to do those things yes. that will put them in the mind of the people. Maybe that can come together and back somebody and yeah. say, look, we will back you. That is why, if you remember, in the last election, all the so-called progressive could not even agree on a yeah. candidate because yeah. it's about self-service. Yeah. So, let them sit down and say, look, you know what, let's drop all of these our personal interests yes. and believe, even if I believe I am the, I'm the competent, but if... Amongst us, okay. we feel no, it should be a maker. Let it be so. Yeah. And that's the only way we can. Uh, that's 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 enlightened self interest. Way, yes. We need to yes. make, we have to change how we make uh, leadership positions um, appeal to people. Like we're looking at, mm. it, of course, it's going to be self serving. When you have collected massive money, invested it in something, you're going to, you want to reap. Yeah. <laughs> you want to reap back what yeah. you've sown. Yeah. Um, so we have to change all that. I think until we change, uh, you know, how much money people spend Bad, on yes. elections yeah. and campaigns, um, <laughs> all the remunerations that, yeah, well, all the remunerations that come with that it's office that makes them it. feel like we make we raise the money. No, but Richard, money. we can't actually wait till all that change happens. I'm well, saying that in spite of it, we put the right people in place. Yes, they will and then we'll, they will know yeah, what yeah, to in do. That one, if we're lucky, mm -hmm. if we are able to. But that's, get that's, the, only, that's that the only quick so fix I can, I can that see. That means we are waiting. A design problem, no, I'm just it? saying it that is. the, the system doesn't necessarily allow for the kind of people who that we want. Exactly. So for me, even if we. Someone has to break it and remake it. Yes. So it really has to start from the beginning. you said something just now. Before now, the governor of Enugu would have just sat down there and said, we have told them we have done something. But you people Even stood up, in spite of the fact that he's your friend, you stood up and said, no, this yeah. is wrong. Yeah. And now, in panic, they are doing something. And Even if we if keep cosmetic. believing, you know, the systemic is, is structured to, to, to change. fail, to, yeah. they will not change it until yes. we push them. Yeah. We have the past. Yes, we do. They know that we have the past. That's why they will not want us to be organized. Yeah. The moment we organize, they'll be jittery. Yes. I've dealt with politicians, even at election tribunals, they will respect you as a lawyer. Oh, the law, the law, the law. But the moment they win that case, forget it, you are gone. Mm. You know. So that will tell you how uh, fickle. fickle they are. So if we are united and pursue a common purpose for that person that we can break, use your word, to break it and remodel it, who we'll achieve all of these things? It, it might take time. Yeah, to take time. But we but need we're this there. advocacy. I think it's to quicker that way to get the right people in place in spite of the system than to wait for the system to change. Yeah, yeah, I don't right think that's it. a fast I don't track. Know, I, have, I just feel like even when you, you get the right people in they place, they may get corrupted the by the system. Them. Yes. Not you know, if we fast some track them if, in there. Mm -hmm. if they don't, if yeah, they have to go through the normal route. Not too long ago, you They have to go through the normal route. Yeah, now I'm believing. Praising two governors. Mackinde and what's the other guy? They are in the same system. We were in Lagos here yeah. and we praised Fashola. Yes. Mm. Because he's in the same system. Mm. Yeah. But he came and he said, look, you know, things can't continue. Yeah. If the people had consistently stood and maintained that, look, let's have people like Fashola. Yeah. Not because of somebody that brought Fashola brought to another person. Yeah. No, he must certainly Yeah, but wasn't good. it the same Fashola? It was that same that Fashola. A, but imagine that, he will that have built a website for he will how have many million over 400. No, 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 but imagine if Fashola was Nobody's surrounded perfect. by yeah, people no, who were like-minded and held him accountable. Yeah, so so but, but he was a cut above the rest. Yes. yes. Just, then imagine if you have several Fashola's at the same time. It would be hard. It would be hard. If not for Fashola, we would have a PC today. I don't know him. He's not my friend. No, no, I'm not saying that. If not for Fashola, we would have you don't have to say. Yeah. Yeah, because no, I, I even no, like the fact enough. that we can even mention oh, the national disease control guy alongside the commissioner. Oh, the fact guy. that you have two technocrats operating almost yes. like a team team yes. it it keeps you, you know. No, I mean if I right, convinced me, I yeah. do believe that if you get the right person in, then they can break down that system. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Look so, at the commissioner like, of, of right. health in Lagos State. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, the man is a hands on the job person. Yeah. And so if you have yes, it might have his own limitations. You know, but if you have, imagine you have that them. same kind of person as many ministers, times yes. many oh, times over. Yeah. Yes. You know, so we won't be complaining. We'll complain, but there definitely are things. Oh, imagine having good. somebody like that as president. Mm. But oh. here, yeah, we yeah. expected that much from, that. why, why did we vote actually, for Buhari? We actually, I expected I didn't. I didn't. Well, I, did the, I, I would have the first time, but not the second. Definitely not. Uh, <laughs> once beaten, twice shy. <laughs> okay. Well.
when all is said and done, some would say that that is the time to do what we have said. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Okay, that's us for today. Till next week, same time, same channel. Ah, keep safe. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed. It's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually worked. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.